Hey guys, and just 75 here, and today we're going to be doing another haul video. This one is pretty small haul as you can see, but I thought it was interesting, so we're making a video about it. So, as you can see, I have three poly bags here, and I got these from Target and Walmart. One of these came from Walmart, two of these came from Target, and that's really, that's really all there is to it. Um, we went, my dad and I went poly bag hunting, so <laughs> this is what we found, and we tried to get stuff that we didn't have already. Um, I did get one thing that I had already, which I will talk about once I go over what this stuff is. But, yeah, so we found two things, at least I found two things that I didn't already have, and one thing that I did already have that I wanted to get another one of. So, that's what we're going to be taking a look at today, is what we got here. So, as you can see, three poly bags on this LEGO City poly bag is the 30365 Space Shuttle poly bag, or Space Satellite poly bag, if I actually read the text that's there which is the one poly bag that I did have already from this selection of poly bags, but I, I do like this little piece right here, this printed piece. It's a one by one printed tile with some kind of keypad on it, so that's why I wanted this this set again to get another one of these. And also it comes with a astronaut minifigure as well. And you do get two of these because there is an extra one, so I will now have three of the four of those available because I just assembled the other satellite that I had. So I'll have four of those, and I think that those will be very useful on my next Lego Star Wars base. So that's why I got these instead of trying to order those pieces over Bricklink or somewhere else. So that's why I got this set, and then these other two sets are both poly bags that I did not already have, which are the 30498 Imperial AT Hauler poly bag and the 30543. 66 piece creator Christmas train poly bag I'm guessing it is because it doesn't have a name on it anywhere so those are the other two that I did not have already the AT hauler came from Walmart and the creator train came from Target and that's really all that there was to it there wasn't really a whole lot of reason besides getting these um, just for me not already having either of these because I try to collect all the poly bags I can because they're kind of kind of rare so it's kind of cool to see poly bags you know maybe if you go to Target you'll see them in the checkout aisle um, and one interesting thing is that if you're looking for poly bags if you go to Target they'll be in the checkout aisle on like those little racks or whatever where they have all like the candy and gum and stuff that's where you'll find poly bags that's why I found this one but if you're going to Walmart and looking for poly bags you're going to find poly bags like this one which I found at Walmart in the Lego aisle because they just have just have some bins that they just throw all the poly bags into so, yeah, those are those things. Um, as far as what I'm going to do with all this stuff, like I mentioned, um, the saddle, space satellite poly bag, I'm just going to construct the figure and then take apart because all the tiles on here are printed, so I'll also have some additional solar panel tiles, which I don't know what I'll be doing with those just yet, but I'm sure that I can find something useful, you know, to have some solar panels because then I have eight of those tiles because they're just one by four tiles so I can make a small little thing of solar panels which might be useful on some future projects but I currently don't have any plans for those and also the tile there which I do have a plan for it's just I have not started it yet because my table is still the shipyard and I don't know maybe one day I'll just give a tour of the shipyard just because it's just going to be there for a while um, but that's really all that there is for that. And that's the that's what's happening with these space satellites. I'm just going to take it apart. As far as the AT hauler goes, I'm going to both these. I'm going to build and review. But the AT hauler, I'm going to hang from my ceiling with all the other sort of micro scale ship fly, spaceships and stuff that I have hung from my ceiling. I don't know if maybe they're in one of my room tours. I don't I don't know. But I'll probably do another one of those this year because I didn't do one last year. But yeah, that will be hung up after I review it onto my ceiling with all the other little ships. And then as far as what's going to happen with the Christmas train, I'm probably just going to, once I review it, take it apart and sort the parts into my parts collection for use on other random things. Um, I don't really know any specific use for a lot of these parts. I think the only one that I can think of a specific use that I ha might have for it are these what look to be clear one by two bricks which I think I'm going to end up building into a curved window on my next Star Wars mock but that's still a long ways out because one um, if I go through with what I have planned right now then that's going to be the later part of the actual base construction and two I can't start construction until my table stops being the shipyard which requires me and my dad to build another shelf which is going to take some time 
to actually happen due to his mostly my dad's schedule being a bit busier and then school will be starting back up again so my schedule will get a bit busier as well but really that's all that I have really for these sets disassembling the train hanging up the hauler and also disassembling the satellite and I'm, I'll be reviewing the Imperial AT hauler and the Christmas train as well so those reviews will come out sometime on this channel I don't know exactly when those will come out um, the list of my reviews is definitely a lot shorter than it has been in the past now, but there's still quite a w lot of reviews that I have to still edit and get out. So, I don't know, you might see these later this year, you might see them next year. Um, it's very possible that you'll see them next year. So, I don't know what's going to happen as far as that all goes, um, but... Yeah, look for those reviews in the future if you're interested, if you want to know when those come out. I hate to do this, but you should totally press that subscribe button and then press the bell so that if, if and when I do upload those, you'll get the notification for them, which would be cool if you're interested in those. And I also will be having a review of the space satellite come out probably sometime before this. Actually, I think all these three sets will go up together as reviews because this, this was the last review I filmed when I got one of those as a free gift with purchase from a Lego store visit, which I didn't make a video about, but yeah, so all three of these will kind of probably come out in a three week time span, um, as if I keep doing what I'm doing now, and I might, I might do a thing where I do two reviews in a week, one week, and maybe two of these will come out on the same week, I don't know, we'll see what happens in the future, but if you're interested in reviews of any of these sets, they're on the way, they're just in the back of the line a little bit, so there's quite a few other things that I need to put the reviews out for before I can get to these, but if I don't end the video now, I'm just going to probably keep rambling, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this little haul. Let me know what you think of these poly bags down in the comments section below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.